We live in a world that's ridden with conflicts, smaller conflicts than no one has ever heard of, and large-scale conflicts characterized by massive displacement and killing. And this goes from Syria all the way down to South Sudan, to Burundi, to Yemen. Crisis Action is an international NGO. We exist to compel the world's most, most powerful leaders to take action to protect civilians in armed conflict. So we are an advocate on behalf of others, we, uh, we were created to amplify the voices of others and to essentially force those who have power to protect those who don't. The biggest hurdle that we face is, um, is simply the lack of political will to unlock a conflict. It's the vested interest of all the warring parties who simply do not want to, to see it to see the course of, of the conflict change. We are constantly running against those vested interests um, and trying to find ways to, to unlock them or to go around them. We work with the media, we work with celebrities, we work with former diplomats. We have a very large toolbox, and this is the strength of our work, is that we tap into this toolbox and decide which of those tools we're going to deploy, because strategically we've, we know that this is the way we can have most impact to protect civilians. It, it is a calling, one, one could say. I, I, I guess there were a couple of formative um, experiences that I had in my childhood. I grew up in Southeast Asia. I spent the first eight years of my life there. My father was a UN international civil servant, and I think I was probably influenced um, by the career that he chose. But what happened, I remember on a beach in uh, Thailand, I must have been about four years old, and I'm happily sitting on a beach um, building a sandcastle, and in comes a boat full of people, a rugged-looking boat. And then off come these, these, like a bunch of people, men, women, children, off the boat and onto the beach. Some were crying, screaming, a lot of a lot of noise and kerfuffle in, in my young age, four years old. I was just confused and wondering what was going on. And and it turned out these were these were Vietnamese boat people that had showed up on the beach where I was sitting. That has left an impact on, on me. That has definitely marked me in more ways than one probably in in terms of having a very early realization of the difference between someone like me who's had the privilege of having a home, a family, um, never having to fear for my life, never having to wonder whether I'll sleep in the same bed tomorrow because I've had to, to flee my, my home, um, not knowing p what persecution is. I have a deep sense of, of love for people and this unreasonable, um, sort of unreasonable dreams, unreasonable vision, unreasonable positivity about what the world should be. And it certainly shouldn't be what it is today what with the number of conflicts that there are and the millions that are displaced and hundreds of thousands that are being killed as we speak in Yemen, Syria, Burundi, South Sudan, countless conflicts.